What is going on YouTube? This is Erica. Cuts for the win. I just wrote an article about this trailer. If you guys haven't seen Hatred, um, it's getting a lot of controversy right now because it's really violent. It's, it's basically a mass murder theme that this game has. You are this guy who just hates the world and you go out just guns blazing shooting everybody in sight. And that really seems to be the only point of the game. So. I wasn't really impressed at all. I was just thinking, man, this game looks pointless. It looks like it's just wanting to cause controversy just for the sake of controversy. And that's really what I focused my article on. I didn't focus too much on whether I was offended or not because I really wasn't offended. Um, there was a couple parts that kind of caused a reaction in me, but overall I just thought this game is going to make our community look bad. This game is going to make video games look bad again like there i just kind of thought of it like this is kind of embarrassing that developers would do this um if that was their vision and they wanted to create this game all their lives i would wonder what's going on with these people but if if it's just to you know cause reactions cause controversy i could understand maybe trying to go against trends and going against um society's norms maybe but I kind of feel like this is too far and like I said this is going to misrepresent video games people who don't play games are going to look at this game and say see that's what causes violence this is why people are shooting up schools this is why people are shooting up theaters and as a gamer that is so frustrating because you and I both know if you're a gamer you're obviously watching this video you know that video games don't cause that people cause that bad childhoods cause that, uh, psychological problems cause that, you know, there's a lot of varieties and factors that go into it just because they happen to play a certain video game, you know, whether it was Call of Duty or whatever, if you're shooting something, they, the media and everybody points the finger at that. They don't talk about movies, they don't talk about music so much anymore, that was kind of more so in the 90s, but now it's like video games are just that scapegoat, it's that, it's that quick uh, assumption that quick thing people can just go go look to and say hey it's because they played this game and this game is just screaming for that attention this game <laughs> hatred is going to easily be that game people point the finger at so because of that I felt more frustrated than uh, offended watching this trailer I just thought here we go here comes another game to cause controversy and so my whole thing was I was asking in my article was this game made just for the sake of controversy was it just made to to get people upset so yeah i mean i i know I'm, I'm not trying to be insensitive i'm not trying to say this game is fine it's just that people are going to get upset no the, the game i mean i wouldn't play it <clears throat> personally i wouldn't play this game um i i did feel weird when i saw the uh the woman in the trailer beg for her life and then the guy shot her in the mouth that was something I don't think I've ever seen in games. I don't even think I've seen that in a movie. And I know that can bring up the whole debate of, oh, it's just because it's a woman or blah, blah, blah. Maybe that's true. You know, seeing a woman get shot in the mouth was just like, whoa, I, I wasn't expecting that. And it, it's interesting to me because when it comes to video games, we all play different types of games. Sometimes we're shooting, um, you know, people in the military, sometimes we're shooting monsters, like, for example, Sh Shadow of Mordor. I use my sword and I stab orcs in the head through the mouth, and that doesn't bother me, but for some reason, whatever it is, maybe because I'm a woman, maybe because I'm a human being, or just because the, the woman in the trailer happens to be innocent, um, it does cause a reaction. It makes me feel uneasy and kind of uncomfortable. It's like, whoa, that's, that's, too much even though I don't want it to be because I'm trying to see this from the perspective of perspective of okay this is not real this is just a game and I try and keep that in my mind but still seeing that image it's just different it's not the same as killing a monster or you know an orc or someone who's the bad guy you know quote unquote the bad guy it's just different and for whatever reason I, I can't help it I saw that part and I was just like whoa that's too much but like I said I'm not the most easily offended person I'm not gonna go on a crazy tirade and like go to all the message boards and, and yell at people who want this game 
whatever. If someone wants to play this game, that's their own deal. I just know I wouldn't play it, and I'm more so concerned about how it looks to the public, how it looks to people who aren't gamers. Like I said, this will misrepresent gaming as a whole, and that bothers me more than the trailer itself. If you did happen to see the trailer, tell me what you thought about it. Um, it's, it's interesting to look at it from different perspectives to see it through the perspective of people who say it's only a game, through the perspective of those who are offended, and through a, a different perspective, which I consider myself in, that's just seeing the bigger picture. Like, what is this game going to do for our community? I, I just see negative impacts. That's really how I see it. So tell me what you guys think. Thanks for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.